Support WrestleTalk! Give us a subscribe. According to Michael Cole, so it must be true, John Cena is one of the all-time greats. Up there with Hulk Hogan, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart, Steve Austin and The Rock. He's headlined multiple WrestleManias, held various championships and beaten some of the best the business has to offer. But a vocal part of the crowd never accepted him as the top star, constantly booing WWE WWE's number one babyface. Many fans demanded he turn heel, and he very nearly did, but it never happened. I am Luke Owen, and this is why John Cena never turned heel. Our story begins at WrestleMania 21, where John Cena captured his first WWE Championship from JBL, and a couple of months later found himself drafted to Raw. At first, Cena was cheered as champion, a holdover from the popular Doctor of Thugonomics character he had while in the midcard, a character that was originally a heel because, well, Look at him. But over the next couple of months, Cena began to get less cheers and more boos. The rapper gimmick faded away, and in its place was a white meat babyface that did things for the fans and hugged kids. To make matters worse, Cena was no longer in the ring with mid-card guys like Carlito and Jesus, and instead with greats like HBK and Kurt Angle. This backlash is a combination of many things. First, the fans see through his act. Second, many fans see him in the ring with Angle and Shawn Michaels and know he can't hold up his end of the deal. However, Cena was the company's number one merchandise seller, and younger fans were still cheering him at shows. During any Cena match, you would hear a high-pitched Let's Go Cena, followed by a louder and deeper Cena sucks from the 18 to 35 male demographic. It is acknowledged backstage that the John Cena thing is not working. The solution talked about, at least at this point, is to keep him off TV until he comes out for the main events, which of course makes zero sense since his strength is that he can talk and his weakness is that he can't work. Despite pleas from the older fan base, WWE were never going to turn their golden babyface heel. It may have worked for Hulk Hogan when he formed the NWO in 1996, but it failed miserably for Steve Austin in 2001. The decision was made, despite the overwhelmingly negative reactions he was getting, to stay the course and keep him as the always overcoming the odds good guy. There was one person who did want him to turn heel, however. Stephanie McMahon. I really wanted to see him turn heel. I wanted it as a fan, and I also thought it was the right thing to do. But it turns out I was wrong. It wasn't until 2012 that the idea of turning Cena heel was taken seriously during his feud with The Rock. The previous year, WWE had trademarked the term Fear My Name. Remember that, it will come up later later, and Cena revealed on Live with Chris Jericho that he recorded new theme music and got new gear made up. Immediately I ran off like a cartoon and recorded new theme music, got new gear made. I was ready. If it happened, it would have been great because I could show that different side. The planned heel turn was so close that even Vince McMahon had signed off on the pitch, but something made him change his mind. We started making plans for it and Vince got cold feet. We had just signed a John Cena exclusive merchandise deal with Walmart and Vince came into a booking meeting one day with the head writers and said, I know you guys really want to do this, but we just can't do it. The problem that Vince McMahon had, at least according to former writer at the time Kevin Eck, was that WWE didn't have a babyface that could replace Cena. While some lobbied for CM Punk and Randy Orton, it was argued that Punk wasn't over enough to lead the company and Orton was a better heel. There was was one guy, however. I can tell you it was around the time Sheamus was World Heavyweight Champion and was being really protected with the booking. I think Vince trying to get him over with the crowd actually hurt him more than helped him. I think Vince after a while started listening to the crowd and thought, well I guess it's not him, so who's next? The heel turn was cancelled, and Cena revealed to Chris Jericho that rather than get a refund on the new gear, he simply told the costume designer to donate the money to the guys and girls in NXT. However, a prototype was made, as seen in this Total Divas episode from Season 3, where Cena surprises Nikki Bella wearing a singlet with the phrase 
fear my name. Told you you should remember that. It's been 13 years since Cena first turned babyface, and there is now no chance he'll ever turn back, particularly with him working a part-time schedule. However, if you ask him, he actually turned heel back in 2005. You as a grown man may say, when is he gonna be a bad guy? My response to that is you boo me anyway. I'm the biggest heel in the company. Why? So you could cheer me? What about that eight-year-old kid? Wanna know about The Undertaker's missing WrestleMania match? And what about five examples of wrestlers hitting fans? Click the videos to the left to find out more. Press subscribe and support WrestleTalk on Patreon. I have been Luke Owen and that was wrestling.